Hey, so welcome to How To Dino. And in this video, since it was highly requested, I am gonna show you guys how to create a menu command. A lot of people have been asking me to dive deeper into more complex custom commands. So this is what I'm gonna do in this video. A big thanks to Sam the Sam 1002 and Evil Ween for requesting this. Now, since this is going to be a more complex custom command, I do want to say ahead of time, if you need help, I will be down in the comments, but to also help relieve stress and whatnot, the Dino Discord link is also in the description. So if you have any issues, feel free to stop there and ask support for some help. So let's get into the video. To begin, head over to the Dinobot dashboard, dino.gg. Click on the Manage Service button, then select the server you'd like to manage. Head over to Custom Commands, and please make sure this module is enabled. Let's go ahead and add a command. Remember, you can name this command whatever you like. In this tutorial, I'm going to name it Guide. And then the command response will be in the description. Feel free to copy and paste from there. I will also have a paste bin link that you can copy from as well. So let's copy and paste. So this is a modified version of the menu command from the Dino Wiki. This command is intended to kind of give new moderators the rundown of Dino's basic commands but this is only for example purposes. So if you have a real use case for this command, feel free to do whatever you like to it. Okay, so to go over what's going on here in this command, we have a simple delete variable, which will just delete our trigger text. In this case, it will be guide. We have this require server mod variable. This is going to restrict the command to server mods. So if you do not want members that are not a mod to use this command that's what this is doing however if you do want members that aren't on the mod staff uh, to use this command just remove this but for this example we're going to leave it here so here we have a choose variable since this is a little complex we don't want to just enter a text here plainly or this will break or just won't work at all so when we first run this command, Dino is going to output this. And then when we run our command again, we're going to be using the code down here. This is just simply text, just letting them know what the user can choose from. And then if we go down here, we're telling Dino to just grab our server prefix because I know some of you guys change it to be something else. So we're going to have it display our current prefix. This is the name of the command. So if you do change the name up here, make sure you come down and edit it here. And then option number. So we're just letting the user know that they can pick between any of these options. This isn't a variable or anything. It's just text. And then here we have the heavy lifting. So choose and choice. For this command specifically, we are laying down the groundwork for Dino. So we're telling Dino we have four options to choose from. For each option, we're going to announce to the channel the command is being run in. We're going to have Dino output the user who's running the command. And then here is just our text because this is a guide on how to use Dino's basic moderation commands. So when we input our option, that's actually gonna come down here to choice. That's what this dollar sign zero is doing. It's just grabbing whatever we input into Discord. And then it's, it's telling Dino which one of these options we're choosing from. And then what simply happens is Dino goes back up here. Say if we choose number two. So Dino, go, so Dino grabs what we got from Discord, goes back up here to two, basically grabs this command, this whole thing, and then gets rid of this. So this is what Dino is actually doing. So now we have the announce command here, and this is what Dino is going to output. So this, what we're going to see is my name and then the text followed by this. This will make sense once we get into Discord, but that's basically what's going on here. So we run the command, 
we'll get this message first. So welcome to uh, the team user. This menu will show you how to use Dino's basic moderation commands. And then we're just telling the user, here are our options, because this is not gonna show. We're just telling the user, these are your options. You can choose from these four things. And keep in mind, you can expand this. The max is 13, but you can expand this. This is just for example purposes for the moment. Just keep in mind, you can expand this, but for this, we're just gonna keep it short. Then we also tell the user to select an option, use our server prefix followed by the name of the command and say the option number. So all of this is gonna show in the first embed. Next up, once the user chooses a number, so whatever number they choose will change the output. Since we have different outputs here, it's every single every single choice they choose is gonna be different since this is a guide command. We tell dyno number one, the one is placed here. So now it's saying choice one. So we're choosing one and bam, we're gonna announce this. So the user is gonna see the embed saying their name and then to mute a user, blah, blah, blah. If we say two, they're gonna see this. If we say three, they're gonna see this. If we say four, they're gonna see this. The standard choose and choice command is usually random. So you just have a list of things that you want Dino to choose from, and then choice will, will output Dino's choice. In this format, we're kind of telling Dino what we want the choice to be. So here, we're just telling Dino what we want the choice to be, and then Dino's gonna take that choice which is the choose up here and run it for us so hopefully you guys follow that if not we're gonna go into discord and i'll show you the command in action so let's go ahead and add our command and now i'll see you in discord okay so here we are in discord if you did not understand the explanation i was giving while we were in the custom commands page Hopefully things will clear out here since this is going to be nice and simple. So to run the command, we start off with guide. And as I said before, we're just going to get the first in bid. So we see welcome to the team, how to dyno. This menu will show you how to use dyno's basic moderation commands. Here are the options you can select. So now we're presenting the user with options that they can choose from. And then here we say to, to select an option, use, that's our prefix right there guide followed by the option number so then the user goes and does this so they type in the name of the command again and now we just say a number so if we want to see the kick command usage we say three and now we see the embed for kick so how to dyno to kick a user use kick at user reason now if we want to see the mute command usage all we have to do is guide one and it tells us how to use mute if we do it for ban same thing there so here we have an optional length for ban which is true so that's what this command is doing when actually running it it seems very simple but actually creating the command is a little more complicated and involved so once again, if you do have questions, I highly recommend asking the Dino support server first, but if you have like an urgent need, feel free to go to the comments and ask it there. I will try my best to answer all the comments in a timely fashion, but please remember I am busy myself and, <laughs> and this is going to be a very interesting uh, video. So, you guys wanted a complex custom command, giving you a complex custom command courtesy of the Dino Wiki. If you want to see the original menu command, I will link down the wiki post for those who want to see that. All right, so thanks for watching and I hope you guys have fun with this. Hopefully you guys learned some things. If not, keep watching. If so, I can't wait to see what types of commands you guys build. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.